Hey everybody and welcome back to another day out here in the shop. My name is Shane and this is Caleb and today we're going to be cutting slats. So it's one of the final steps of uh, this crib build and uh, I'm excited to get it done with. <laughs> so what we're doing today is we're cutting, to start off, the, we're cutting the back slats. Uh, I've measured them out. I've referenced my drawing here. This is a little bit confusing but so we, we measured it here from the center points of each of these slats um, going out from the center outwards. And so I wrote down these measurements right here. Um, so 30 inches is from um, the top to the bottom. And then we have plus the tenons, which are about a half an inch. So we're going to be cutting. We've already marked the first board. And we're going to cut all of these just like this, um, just straight across right away. <clears throat> and then we will be um, going back later, putting them in the bottom rail so we can get them lined up and then we'll be cutting the curves on them um, but even before we do that we will need to um, I want to do a tongue and groove deal so we'll, we'll run these through the table saw get some shoulders um, and some grooves cut out one on each side and then we'll be able to put them together and then we'll be able to draw the arch on there and then cut out the arch and that'll be the whole back piece. Um, so, sounds like a lot, but I don't think it's gonna be too much. So, let's get to it. saw set up now uh, but what we're gonna have is we're gonna have it's gonna be one quarter of an inch deep that we're gonna be taking out of each um, board for the tongue um, and then it's gonna be one quarter of an inch wide that's what the the tongue is actually gonna be and so it'll be a quarter inch away quarter inch left quarter inch away um, and they're gonna be slotted in uh, one half of an inch so it'll be a decent sized tongue and groove um, and hopefully none of them break off, but I think we should be just fine with that because there's other things supporting it as well. So I've got the the fence set up to five inches away from the blade, and so we're gonna do um, the initial cut on every single board that we need to do the, on the tongue side. Uh, and so we're gonna do that first, and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna feather all of them. And then after we get all the the, the male ends of these tongue and groove done, we are gonna then do the groove part of all this tongue and groove. So it's gonna take a little bit, but it'll be fun. So we've come to the point where it's time for us to finally start putting these back slots together. Uh, what we've done here was, as you can see, we've got the tongue and we've got the groove. Uh, we made the tongue a little bit wider than the groove or we made the groove a little bit smaller than the tongue so we've had to take um, the 1906 Stanley hand plane and uh, it has been working like a charm like you can't tell it really from here but this thing is just it's just smooth it's working really well it's really pretty um, and so that's doing the job just right for uh, for us to fit these in here and uh, so we're gonna be getting these things together and then once we get them all together, well, I'll have to cut these sides down because it's only three inches or so that I need out of this board. So we'll need to cut this one off a little bit um, and then the other side too. But that should be real easy once we get it all together and I can get the exact measurement of where it needs to be so that's centered. So this is going to be fun kind of watching this go together and doing it myself. So I hope you enjoy. I got to find a good vantage point. Straight up.
Until next time, when we finish this bad boy. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Please like this video and subscribe for more. See ya.